so next we can uh, study about the newton's law of translation translation so what is newton's law of translation so itre naalu nammal padichathu first module ottu naalu module vare padichathu nanna the motion of body alla the body is at rest aanu nammal itre naalu padichathu adhe statics aanu padichathu ini we are going to dynamics ini nammal endha ya dynamics like povaanu so dynamics il or important aayittulla oru theorem aanu newton's law of second law ellarkkum ariyavunnana what is newton's law of second law that is the external unbalanced force f is proportional to the rate of change of momentum we know that rate of change of momentum is m into v minus u by t okay so namak proportionality maatanayittu uh, we are multiplying with a constant so constant we are fortunately taken as 1 so f equal to 1 into m into v minus u by t okay where we know that the rate of change of momentum is equal to ma so v minus u by t equal to ma so net force f equal to ma so this is the newton's law of translatory motion so translation motion so the newton's law of translatory motion states that so newton's law of translatory motion states that endana state cheyina sigma f equal to m so what is sigma f the resultant force acting on a body is equal to the product of mass and the acceleration so the resultant force is equal to the product of mass and the acceleration idana the newton's law of translatory motion so ivda nammal korchu concept use cheyunnundu allenge ore assumption undu adayathu ed direction lekkanu body move cheynathu that direction is taken as positive and move cheyatha direction undallo that direction is taken as negative so suppose ingena or body undu ee body ingotana move cheyyengil this direction is taken as positive and this direction is taken as negative okay so newton's law of translation no etre ullu states that the resultant force acting on a body is equal to the product of mass of the body and acceleration of that body okay fine ini namaku problem cheyam 